Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today. I learned WebGL series episode 101. We're going to be looking at complex objects today or hierarchical objects or whatever you want to call them where you are basically building them from multiple multiple objects altogether. Um, major note, we've moved the vendor and images out of the folder and you're running from the main directory instead. So we're running from here rather than within the uh, folder itself and then you can click on into each of these. I've actually refactored it so most of these should all work uh, that way you don't have to be switching folders all the time and we don't have to download a lot of extra vendor code so I got rid of a lot of code when you're downloading. Uh, so that's it. Let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, just another note, this is the new path for the vendor stuff and you can see here we have all of our source stuff and now we have a couple new folder or files. We have the primitives cube, which is the same thing as primitive cube before, but moved under the primitives folder. And then we have an objects, uh, which is gonna be called basic thing at this point. And we will be building on that over the next several episodes. Uh, jumping in here to the index, everything is basically the same here until we get down to initialize. We've moved everything into that and we're exporting the images now, just to keep them in the index as well. For now, we may move them to a constants folder at some point. Looking in initialization, we have the environment being initialized. Like I said, this was being done previously in index, but we moved it in here just to stay consistent with all of the initialization altogether. Um, outside of that, our initializing objects, we have one single object now, uh, but when we look at it rendered, it looks like two cubes. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see what is going on with that in just a moment. So we can play with this here. You can see the diff difference in the two cubes, they move together. Um, now let's go ahead and jump towards the basic thing. So this is basically exactly like uh, any other object that we've been using so far, namely the cubes. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff commented out right now because it's kind of in flux and it's not 100% complete and you'll see how so in a moment, but we'll be building upon it and making it better and fixing things as we go. So we have a new part of it here called components. And so the basic thing, as you can see, is made up of two components here. It's made up of one cube and then it's making up another one. We've translated it 2.5 for the second cube, which is why it's up here. And as you recall, the size of the cubes are two by two. So if I went ahead and made it two right there specifically and waited for it to load, it's gonna be touching uh, itself. Uh, so we can go ahead and just give it a little bit of space. If you wanna give it an angle, we can. Um, let's go ahead and make it 2.1. And you can see it's slightly above and over. Um, so you can see that's how that works. Um, but how is it rendered? What has changed? Again, more commented out stuff as we build upon it. So now when we're going to go render and draw, whereas before we would just go ahead and um, draw the cube right out, this time we're going to iterate through every single component. And for each component, it's going to render and grab and uh, do everything that it would have normally. So again, instead of grabbing it from the actual object itself, we're going to wrap through each component the components indices, components each individual translation, and scaling and angles. Again, all the way down, anywhere where you would have referenced the original object is now gonna be referencing the component itself. Same thing with binding textures, um, and blend, blending, disabling blends, etc., etc., all the way down. Now one thing to note is you'll see a lot of the stuff that is commented out is things dealing with like selection and whatnot. So when you try to select it currently, it will not work. Um, that is one thing that we will be picking in the future. So that way we, we can grab this and spin the entire thing all together. Um, currently we're not select, uh, setting the selection color, but we will be in future episodes, like I said. So that's it for this episode. Uh, we're gonna start, like I said, building on this uh, complex object, making it more and more usable and building more abstract and interesting things as we go. Uh, maybe even moving separate components within the um, complex object itself and doing interesting things with that. Uh, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe. Shoot me a, a message or subscribe on social media, if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. And uh, 
that's it. Have a great one. Thank you.